very soon tutakuwa na law fest hapa tarehe 28 mm -hmm. na um, i understand like all of you are law from Nyanza i really don't know come that tent knowing that Jalango is one of the organizers if you come on that tent Oh, you have to be there bwana <laughs> and the balance you unaonja kidogo na kama uko na so ingine mali unaenda <laughs> yeah Okay, personally, personally, I'll be in Kisi because I'm having a show in Kisi. But we have talks already. The next law festival, which definitely to follow me in Europe, Kisumu, Dala. I'll be there because already we're gonna DJ. And by the way, DJ show also started the Luo Ramogi diaspora Ramogi festival. The diaspora Ramogi festival in Europe. And we have it there. We did the first one. Which I was the biggest artist, and uh, together with Kofi Makado, it was so nice. Yeah, so the second version, it was virtual actually. Virtual, yeah. yeah. We virtual. Are, you also said Inda. Inda is valid. Inda is Um, talking about one of you, uh, of you guys, Jalango is vying for the, the MP of Langata. So if you come and you support, um, because you come from the same community, are you also also supporting his idea of being the next Langata MP? Personally, yeah, I really support and if I were one of the voters in Langata, I'll definitely vote for uh, Jalango. Reason, okay, reason why, just as I did say, when you ask me whom I could choose between the three, Jalango is always pushing na kuinua watu. So I'm trying to imagine if given that platform, what he could have, what he's going to do and the impact he will create. Yeah. Okay, maybe kila mshirika yeah. moja moja. Yeah, reason why I would support Jalango is this. I believe in the process of growth. Nimeona vilali grow na ile wajani yake. It's like my story. You get the point. Mm. So if I will support him not because he's from my community, yeah. but because the positive things is doing for the community because he's not supporting the local the community. Local no. community. He's supporting Everyone. Kenyans at large. So I'll support him because of that. And then secondly I'll support him because ni msanii mwenzangu. Yes, and you want to sign you. Basically, we have to support DJ Aisha. DJ Aisha is working so hard, and I'm mimi kama stakeholder in the Luo music industry in Kenya at large. I felt like it's nice to leave everything I was doing to come and support her because she has a East African tour, and she has a big show coming on the 11th of September at Mugos Choma Base here in Nairobi, Kayole Spine Road, Shuja Mall. And so it's just good to support a sister who is doing well to help uh, you know in making the industry grow. So we are here to support her and also we have our fans also to introduce our fans to her so that they can also share the DJ Aisha experience. Yeah so we are here to support her and to stand by her. Nitaenda ya inda because he's my boy from Grand Zero mpaka Mekwa Selem. Na tukimaliza mapema kama ya pesa bado anacheza nitaenda ya pesa. Alafu nikulize what do you look for when you're working with a Hungry artist? Basically nangalia talent and then we work on the message. Artists and kwa kuna tena mekuja na message ikiwa mbichi tunaivisha. We work it's a collective responsibility. Tunasaidiana tunakuwa na content ya mbapo tukitoa itakusell as an artist. So we angalia talent, vocal ability and then secondly message. But message we can work on it together. Yeah. So at the moment you said the name of all my artists ni wakubwa and then in Barikiwa studio we don't have uh, upcoming artists mimi ambia artists akisha kuja the moment umeingia Barikiwa studio you are a star kuingia tu because tunajaribu kuwa motivate kupatia side unaona but ukiongea nani mkubwa wote ni wakubwa Musa Emma Prince Inda Elisha Freddy Kevoma Kawili mimi mwenyewe <laughs> so yeah so hakuna artists mkubwa i don't rate them but tuta kitumi usema eh kuweza kuwa na mwenye at the moment is raining hapo na ile film maybe he has a new album ime push sana so at the moment tunaweza sema tuko na prince ida is doing so well yeah that that's the truth what yeah. film uh, ni vindia hapa na represent gossip in shiro inasemekana wasanwa wa jandu unko new to mia madawa mkiona mkiona mwenzenyu na anakuja ni anapaji unaweza unaweza dress hapa witchcraft oh witchcraft yeah. baba hiyo sijui okay. 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 okay.
Yeah, uh, the challenges, the challenges I would say is um, the crowd. Our crowd is not that big, I'm not going to lie, uh, because the number of people we have there, you have to sub uh, deduct those who can make it to the events, those who maybe love the kind of event we're putting up. So it's always a challenge to put up an um, event and have a huge turn up let's say from Kenyans because uh, we are not that many. Another challenge I'll say uh, Napitia could be like getting updated to the songs. Like as a DJ in Tajua, those songs, the new songs, but now the crowd down there, they're not up to date with the songs. So I feel like you'll have to play, I have to play more of the old songs and introduce the new songs slowly. So challenging the crowd, basically. Okay, give us a question to watch it show. In German, you know there are a German-speaking language. So how do you cope with the Germans? Do you want to Kenya? Come up again? Uh, in German. Yeah. It's a German-speaking country. Yeah. speak German when in Kenya? How is that you are German? I speak German because I went there since I was teen, so I speak German. Uh, I have a question too. Yeah. Uh, from the aspect of Australia. Some years back, you came here to set up women empowerment project. Exactly. Actually, the Women Empowerment Project was basically to empower women and ladies, and that's something that I'm still working on. I really love to push and support ladies because, you know, the society has, is not really giving the, the, the ladies or women in the industry that kind of support. So I thought, I, I thought of, now that I have the platform, it's really important to pull and support the other ladies. So the project itself hasn't been initiated uh, because of these COVID things that happened. And also when I came last year, we had few stuff that didn't go well as planned. But should things get back to normal, how do you call it, normalcy? Normal. Definitely, I'll continue with that project. It's my number one priority. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's true. It's really a tough combination for me. And my main challenge is time to practice, practicing time. I really have limited time to practice. But I normally program myself because um, we are lucky, let's say in Germany, you have like two months prior, you are, you are, you are working schedule. So, I know exactly when I'm working and my boss really is a lovely lady and she understands and she knows that I'm into the DJ. I, I mean, I'm a DJ and normally I give her my schedules. Let's say if I know in two months or in one month I'll be having shows, I normally tell her the days I would love to be free. And the days that maybe if shows pop up and I'm scheduled to be working, I normally try and change the shift within my colleagues and yeah. So far it has been working, but the main challenge for me is having enough time to practice. DJ Aisha, Black uh, TV up. Mm -hmm. uh, we have gone through your mixtapes on YouTube and everywhere. We have discovered that you rarely uh, put Kenyan music on your mixtapes. Mm -hmm. uh, can you tell us the reason why you don't put Kenyan music? Uh, the reason, actually, I have so many Kenyan, Kenyan mixtapes, even as we are talking right now, both videos and audios. The main challenge is the copyright. Ngoma. Ngoma wanani piga kishenzi. Ngoma. <laughs> the copyright issue. Because that's the main challenge. I don't know if it's happened because I'm uploading them from the Euro. Because I see other DJs, they upload the same songs that I have. And it's showing on YouTube. If I try, I get strike. Like, blocked, cannot be seen, can, everything. My main challenge is copyright. And if I, I just wish if the Ngoma, if they'll be able to see this, if I could work with them. Because I'm really out there to support the Kenyan industry. I'm really supporting the Kenyan music, really putting out there. But it's hard for me to upload their mixtapes or even play, include the Kenyan songs during my live stream because of the copyright strikes that I get. That's the main challenge. Mm -hmm. So what does it take to be a successful in Kenya? Uh, in Kenya, I won't say much because I started my career over there and I normally come here 
shortly only for shows. But in general, what I'll say has put me out there is self-discipline. Self-discipline, self-worth. And this goes to all female DJs, I can say. Please, if you know that you are a female DJ and you want to make it in the industry, don't use your beauty, your body to put it there. Because, let's say we you a show. People won't stay there staring at your beauty, ama maybe vilomeva, but they will be there to uh, enjoy what you're playing. So for me, it's self-discipline and always trying to be different, really going hard on it. I'm so aggressive. If you, see, uh, if, if you happen to watch me play, I'm so aggressive when playing because I know my worth. And I'm like, it's this worth, these skills that I need people to recognize me with and not my beauty or maybe the way I'm dressed or the way I'm showing off. So for me, it's that skills. Skills matters, self-discipline and your self-worth, knowing that I'm here for a show when I'm done. Bye-bye. But you've never seen any collab between a Luo artist and a central artist, Kama Semisamido, and maybe in a Kevo Apa. How come you guys don't cooperate? How about two collabs together? Okay, Unajua, our Angla industry is growing and it's growing very fast. <coughs> and uh, as at now, Kuna Makolabo Ziko Chini Yamaji. So very soon, Mutazona to Zikitoka. There are things Chini Yamaji Zinafanyika. We are approaching different artists, mm -hmm. how we can work together so that we build each other. Would you guys love to work maybe with one of the greatest artists from Central, Samido? Not only Samido, Kuna Wasani Wengi. There are things, uh, Samido right now, I think Kuna talks with some Angle artists going on right now. Some, I think some people are also in the studio at the moment. So, if you can bring him down to his Tatoka. Engineer, mm -hmm. I think it's the concerned people. It's so sad that actually the artist, because okay, I'll, I identify myself as an artist, because see to DJ. I feel like uh, we are not being given that much support from the government and all that and those who are the ministry which is concerned because organizing such kind of awards should be from the ministry who is involved or who is concerned with that. And that's the same thing I also see with our artists, Unapata, artist named Zuri and there's no support to back that artist up. It's all about the ministry concern. Yeah, they should come up and support the industry. Okay, <laughs> in the first place. They are still there, they're performing. But like, just like I said, when there's a hit, because it, 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 it's a competition, when there's a hit, Leo, Kesho Mungina may come up in another song, I may hit. So at that particular time, ni uyu ako on the wave. Lakini yule bada ako ana perform too, ako na fan base yake, he's still earning a living, still doing okay. So sijaona yule mwenye alikuja, aka hit, aka enda. Wenye wameenda tunu wala wamekufa kama Musa Juma, Lady Maureen. But the rest wale, wengine wakitama bada wako tu, they're still performing, they're still living a good life wako. But what unasema as in tenyo kikifika, what wakapushangilia, mungina kikuja, watapuwacha, waende kwa mungine zasa. Iyo inafanyika hivyo hata kwa nyinyi bloggers au youtubers. Unaweza hata kuja na hit, watu wanamfuata fuata lakini still bado kuna loyal followers wako. They're still subscribing, they're still you know watching your videos. Yeah, so it's it's normal in every industry. Uh, sorry I'm issue. Bona ndio mwa ku move studio kutoka Karibangi North to Kisumu. No, si kutoka Karibangi kwa Bangi South to Kisumu. Nili toka Karibangi South nika na Lucky Summer from Lucky Summer nikaenda Greenspan kumbuka hiyo ni nyumba ya 1800 1000 so it's growth ya yeah? it's expansion Ati Okay, this is 
ijayifanyika tukiwa na hii Mombasa ilifanyika wapi haijayifanyika mimi hatujaweza sana na yeye mimi ni baba yao ni baba yao hatujaweza sana stage na yeye Mombasa ndio tulienda tuliperform fit tukarudi Nairobi hakuna kesi zilitokea kwa hakuna alafu engineer bado tukibaki kwako juzi tumeona umepost katika mtandao wako wa Facebook kwamba kuna jamaa fulani unahusishwa na kesi ya insult alionekana akipigwa kofi alafu ukasema unaachia Mungu je unaweza kujitoaje kwa hiyo shughuli I'm also seeing the video circulating in Uliona Ivo and since I was not there I have no nothing to say about it much but kitu najua kuna mtu alipatikana ambaye anaua na insult wasanii wengi sana yeye kazi yake ni kutukana watu na hata hajawahi wanana na hajawahi kutana na unaona mm. so yeah, his work is just to insult people siku ile ameamua ni dijaisha ndio kutukana na tukana with no mercy na mjui hajawahi kutana naye mm. so apparently alikutana na a group of people wenye amekuwa akiwa insult <laughs> na akakutana nao in the same room okay. unaona so these mm. guys are uh, made to understand they landed on him like a thunder you see because he was trying to be tough uh, na ongelesha na wajibu vibaya mm. so in that process wakamwambia now this is what you're going to do we are calling everyone you've ever insulted and you must apologize to everyone that is when we are forgiving you na tukupeleki kwa polisi you get the point so they called people na hata mimi nikapigiwa i think nikipigiwa was with you you were also there right nikamwambia eh kuna jamaa amekuwa kutukana na watu ameshikwa because ilipatikana kisumu sisi tuko Nairobi and so i spoke with the person kamaliza why do you insult the people why do you go around insulting artists left right center Please eshimu hustle ya watu mm. and never do that again because it will land you in problems if it's not character assassination to be cyber bullying and you may ah. not even have the strength to kujitoa kwa hiyo so that's how mm. i that's what mm. i can say about the story and then apparently huko yeah. akifanya hizo bizarre kwa anashika ma video so i think that's one of the videos that is circulated but me i was not there mm. i was in nairobi so so Aisha, Aisha. Aisha. how long are you planning to be here or have you relocated to Kenya? Ah uh, actually I'm um, shortly here for my tour that is East African tour nimeanza na Kenya. Tize uh UG I might not be there because of the restrictions they have but I really wanted to be there. And as for the duration I'm going to be here till middle of October or end of October depending So I need to update Aisha. Yep. Tumesikia umesema you are meeting challenge in Germany actually funny enough i play most of my shows i'll say 90 percent of my shows are non-kenyan events sure. because germany we have the entire africa and if you follow me keenly and see my posts you'll realize that most of the artists kenya african artists wale wakubwa if they come to perform in germany i'm always their dj so my crowd is not strictly Kenyan crowd but entirely African crowd and also German crowd as it's a mixed crowd. As a manager to DJ club managers are coming for us they are asking for shows but then you get that they are not living up to the expectations sometimes you get there the 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 equipments that are there are not up to standard such that Aisha can have a comfortable time and uh, can can be, can be able to entertain the fans so that is one of the challenges that we get and then second challenge that we get to is uh, the issues to do with the uh, there's a lot of hypocrisy. Somebody will book a show, like this is something that we witnessed uh, last week. Somebody will book a show, mm -hmm. then you, you make commitments, you meet him, then when it comes to signing contracts, you find that this person is not legit. So those are some of the challenges that we are, we are finding as we are trying to penetrate into the Kenyan market. DJ Aisha, sorry, lingine tu apa. Aweni msichana mrembo kusema tu kweli mapendeza rangi ya kuvutia. Nasi pia kama kuna vile unapata mchumba na bado uko single. Ina mchumba. Ina mchumba. Sijachumbiwa lakini na mpenzi. 
Ningependa kuuliza tena hapa Kenya kuna maartist kadhaa ambao pia wanapendeza. Ni swali tu la kuona maoni yako. Ah ukipewa chance kati ya Eric Modi na Willy Paul uchague mmoja wao kwa mchumo atachagua nani? Unaweza nipatia third option? Ni pe third option. Hawa wili tu. Hapa tuongeze jalamo basi. So, hebu rudia swali. Kwa mfano unatafuta mchumba kama jalamo angekuwa single, unafuta pale na jalamo Eric Modi na Willy Paul. Nataka tu mchumba kutoka kwa hao watatu. Ningechukua nani akiwa mtoto wako? Ah, ni I'll go for jalamo. Mbona jalango na sia wengine? Eh? Mbona jalango? Okay. <clears throat> wow. Ni jalango how he has grown. Uh, he really motivates me and whatever he does in motivating people. Napenda vitu kama hizo. Mimi I love it when somebody is the up there anakumbuka watu wa chini akiwainua. And jalango I know is tangu hizo enzi kipindi zake I used to follow him and they grow up really it's really something to recommend and really talk about. Yeah, and I think it's also more mature. I love mature people. <laughs> Spending drama, so definitely I'll go for him. So, we to Kenya and program. Actually, exchange program in Peleka Germany night were all pair. Opea, okay. Ah, uh, to make it simple, as I say, my modern, kama kubebi sit, whereby a family has a kid, lakini wako busy, awana zileza kutafuta mbochi. So they need someone who will take this kid to school, na mpik, and after school, you stay there with the kid, na msadia kama ni homework, only kid ndio kazi yako. Iyo time to yako shule, you go and learn the language, because the main thing is you stay with the family for one year. As you are taking care of the kid, they give back to you by paying your language school, everything, your insurance, and paying you also monthly up to 30K. So just kumpeleka omtoi na kumrudisha, and they're feeding you. And after one year, you can uh, continue with your study, studies for those who want to study. It's mainly for those who want to study, so wana kusaidia katika yo preparation as you learn the language and get to familiarize yourself you help them look after the kids so in it all pair that's the program in linda nayo what figure how much do you spend per week per week <laughs> i normally don't uh was <laughs> but uh I sp maybe 50k Jem, jem swali kwa kwa engineer kutoka the Wabit Show. So uko na uko na studio. Unaweza tuelezea your main challenge yenye ku support wasanii na the real experiences that you go and also support wasanii. Okay, first of all, ku support wasanii kwangu mimi naifanya kama hobby. It's not a business. That's why I can take an artist with a record a whole album. I will not have any contract with them. Sita I teach anything just to. So Number one, that is a hobby for me. Some of the challenges here, unaza chukua artist, na unaona period yake, ya kumtoa inja, ya figa, lakini ya nataka ingie, aimbe, utoa esa iyo. Unajua? They don't want that seasoning process, hile unamweka kwa studio, you learn bit by bit, unamambia now this song, this is what we need to do, this is the process we need to go through a song, ndiyo tukutoa inja. So, juu minya nakuja, nakuja, mina nataka ndikuwe kama kevo makawili, ama nimekuja nataka ndikuwe kama inda hana vision yake personal anda mm -hmm. ku capture vision ya mtu yeah. unaona so that's an artist mwenye ku deal line ngumu na so inabidi at times mnakosana hata unaona but as a producer na kama baba yao I'll stand my ground and I love to go with my speed because na you are the right time yao ya kutoka for instance like big song uh, Musa Jakadala era remo that song in the beginning I now cost studio around uh, mm. seven months. What? Seven months. And he had to go at my speed. Like, today I want you to studio, this is what we are going to do. Just a verse or two. This is what I want you to do. And he, he was faithful to that. 
and then uh, for instance uh, Elisha mtoto wa shule paronganya suba I had I had to put him on hold for four years you know and on the fourth year when he came to studio now he became an artist a big one and he's now a hit you get the point yeah. so the biggest challenge ni kupata artist mwenye ata anakuja na vision yake and then mu combine the visions yako pia kama producer and then say this is now the process ile tutaenda nayo so that we achieve a good result so that's the only biggest challenge but this is again a financial hapo sinanga shida cuz i do is a is a hobby is a passion my music pays me so the studio is just a hobby to give others opportunity because ata mimi someone else gave an opportunity for me now to be engineer what exactly so Okay to me there are very many ways to an as a race industry some, some have uh, the ability ya ku support financially some of the ability like ana connect na producer like now DJ Aisha hapa Ijaisha when she approached me I'll approach na one language I want to help you support the ina industry you get the point and I adapted that because mi upenda mtu ambaye ana na kitu kingine anafanya na maybe ako na a bigger platform anaweza ifanya from ile point nimeifikisha so like she came in and then akaianza ku push in the european market no no and we ended up even having a show together with one of my artists okay the first artist of the studio coffee macado we went with him and we had a, a big show in germany that is your big asia so i'll go na side to support the industry and then again also another way ni each and every artist trying to do good music the moment you do music the industry is still growing mm-hmm. so artists pure they contribute in growing the industry by doing good music mm-hmm. composing good music so to me everybody radio presenters they also help in growing the industry youtubers mm-hmm. bloggers you know people of the media like you the press mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. you also help in growing the industry so it's a collective mm-hmm. responsibility to me and uh, mm-hmm. to, 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 uh, to I'll think I'll go for Kali Jones because now na anajaribu kupea watu opportunity for labels kinaja pesa there's something is doing Prince Inda you know na nimeona kadhaa so I'll, I'll I'll give back uh, up to him because he's uh, he's trying mm-hmm. yeah unaona ana collaborate na wasanii wadogo nini hivyo anapata opportunity so to him to me I see is helping with the growth of the industry does that mean yeah. that uh, Octopizo doesn't help um, to grow the Kenyan industry music industry no akusema Kenyan kuna kitu alisema <laughs> wasani aliongea kuhusu wasani from okay. Lu, from Luo Nyanza yeah so i'm i'm talking about that so na naongea ile kitu nisha on nimeona yeah i don't know much about octopizo that's the truth okay go to chiro yeah i have a question to dj aisha dj aisha mm-hmm. do you always go and undergo a challenge maybe maybe we to wende show me somewhere alafu kuna hii challenge ya kulipo maybe unataka hii pesa alafu watu wanataka kupatia pesa plan check your challenge kama hiyo Maybe here in Kenya, maybe there in Germany. Ah, yeah. Challenges zipo. Challenges zipo. Um, zipo and also here in Kenya. <laughs> I remember especially when I came here 2019, the first time I came here for, for the tour. And people were like, okay, we are willing to host you. Lakin tunakupata hiyo exposure. I was like, I made myself known over there. I'm down here in my home country. A big club where I could pull all my fans there and you want me to play for free. So yeah, kuna hizo some club owners as well but they will be like, okay, enjoy to party exposure. I don't need that exposure for real. I've had it cuz I've pushed myself and right now if I'm down here, it's business. So definitely I have such challenges where by either the payment, uh what I'm requesting for that like no, we can't pay that or But mtuku I normally don't force. Uh, I'm one person who believes in the right time. Like if something is meant to be mine is mine. Ata size ni tiwe kwa the biggest club and whatever they're offering is less. I won't go there because 
of the name of the club, no. So roughly how much you COVID has really messed us up. So right now I'm really tr I'm being, I'm trying to reason with the club owners. If they call me for a show to, to not reason, because the hours appear. So Siwek is strict, it, this is what I want. I talk to them to not reason to not Opening hours ni less and let's see how we can work. It, right yeah, now it's sure. all about working more. Yeah, yeah. No. We are seeing the three of you together. Any plan? Any show? Sure, of course. We have our main show on the 11th of September. That is the Rumba show, which will take place Pale Mu. <coughs> which will take place Pale Mugos Choma, Shujamol. Yeah. And Ward Phoebe is one of the artists who will be there. But there is not only a producer. Is the is also an artist. He does rumba. He does oanga. Actually, he the does biggest all. Rumba artist in Kenya. Yeah, <laughs> ni word Phoebe. Najua mufahamu. And all these ohangla artists you guys are talking about, he's the main producer who made them. So ni mtoa kuchini amaji. So he is going to be there. I've never been in such such situation. Reason, because from the word go, I've always set my like I have that self respect and my values. I'm like, you are calling me for sure. This is what you have to pay me. This is how it has to be. How ni host kwako? You pay my hotel and and and. I make it clear from the word go. Definitely there are because uh, unfortunately there are so many also in the same uh, my promoters, um, the concerned people who take the advantage of using those girls, um, those DJs to give them the show. I know they're desperate and they want to take that show, but uh, my advice would be because let's say our Fanya Evo, you take the offer. That guy will talk and say, ah, who you need to learn? I need to show more. The next person you go to the next club, I'm a promoter. Either to get less, I'm at to do the same thing. I'm at to come and kulipa. You be like, ah, na kulipa, but you have to, you know. So, but if you make a clear, uh, how is it? Uh, if you have, sorry guys, I'm thinking German now, Ngia Kinges. <laughs> German, German, yeah. So now, if you said the principle from the word go, trust me, well, you'll always have uh, your ways out. Mm -hmm. 